Sam Bakeman Freed has just been convicted on all seven counts. I'm going to talk about what that means. I'll also talk about Alex Mashinsky, Aroni Cohen Pavan, their trials that are going to happen next year. So SBF was found guilty to two counts of wire fraud, a couple cases of security fraud, commodities fraud, and other commodities fraud, money laundering conspiracy. And this is a maximum penalty of 115 years in prison. As of now, the sentencing hearing will happen March 28th, and he will most likely just be in jail until March 28th. Now, why the sentencing is happening in March and not like right now is because there is a separate trial for Sam, where he is being charged with conspiracy to commit bank fraud, another bank fraud conspiracy, a couple conspiracies regarding foreign bribery, and also money laundering. So that trial will begin March 11th of next year. And that is again why the sentencing is for March 28th, because they want to include all five of those counts see if he is convicted on those as well before he gets sentenced. So let me talk about Alex Mashinsky and his trial that is going to be happening next year. So he has been charged by the SEC, accusing him of violating securities laws, raising billions of dollars through unregistered and fraudulent offers. The CFTC is saying that he violated several U.S. regulations and misled investors. So as of now, Alex's trial will begin on September 17th of next year. And then we have Roni Cohen Pavan, who worked with Alex, who pled guilty to several charges, and I believe he is going to testify in Alex Mashinsky's trial if they ask him to, or basically if he's required to, which if I had to guess, I would guess that he will be required to do so. So Roni Cohen Pavan's sentencing is scheduled for December 11th of next year. So Alex's trial starts in September, and then Roni's sentencing is going to be two months after that in December. So we still have a while until Alex Mashinsky has to face the judge and possibly a jury, and we'll see what happens with that. If I was Alex Mashinsky's legal defense team, I would be pretty nervous right now, just based on the fact that SBF was found guilty for all seven charges. There are a lot of similarities between the charges brought to SBF and also against Alex Mashinsky. Securities fraud, commodities fraud, wire fraud, conspiracy to commit securities fraud. These are also things that SBF was charged and ultimately convicted of. There are slight differences between exactly what they were charged with, but there's a lot of similarities here. Now, before I go, one thing I found interesting listening to Tiffany Fong's update on the SBF trial is the judge said that just SBF posting on Twitter that everything was fine, even though he knew that everything was not fine, that there was a massive hole in their balance sheet, that they could not satisfy the withdrawal requests. Just posting on Twitter, literally misleading investors, misleading customers, is enough, I believe, to convict him of fraud. So that is what Tiffany said. She heard that from the judge, I think, yesterday or today in SBF's trial. And when I heard that from Tiffany, I was like, okay, well, we kind of know that Nuke, Alex, and a lot of the management team were basically saying everything's fine. There's nothing to worry about. And it's going to be pretty darn easy to prove that they knew that things were not good and there was a massive hole. So we'll see what happens. We still have again a while until September before that begins. So don't hold your breath on that. Ultimately, right now for Celsius, we want to get people back their money. Same with FTX. That's primarily what I'm focused on and really what I want. I totally understand wanting them to pay for what they did. Completely, completely get it. I am more focused on people getting back their crypto, getting new co stock in Celsius, maybe FTX 2.0 in FTX, and people getting their life back. I'll keep you guys posted with everything that comes out regarding this trial and SBF's trial in March or his second trial in March. Till next time, guys, talk with you soon and bye for now.